pretty little thing. This is a little wild violet. I had a had several of them I brought with me from my other place. But that's what this is. And this is going to be just a tour of some of the wild plants and flowers that are around here right now. Purple dead nettle. It's pretty. And the pollinators do gather around it. It's all over the place out here. It's an edible, it's a, in the mint family, and uh, it is an edible weed. So is the wild violet that I just showed you. Weed, I mean, hen bit. It's very similar to the purple dead nettle, but as you can see, the leaf shapes are different. They're not longer and pointy. Right next to it is what I believe is mouse-eared chickweed. These things are edible as well, the, both these plants. Turnips <laughs> that bolted from last, that I had plant, planted last fall. You can see they've got very pretty little flowers. They attract pollinators. The leaves would still be good to eat and the flowers are good to eat. And right under it is some uh, hen bit and some chick, I mean some purple dead nettle. And right over here, I'm happy to say, that poke salad coming back up. Yahoo! This will get pretty big here, pretty big stalks around this stump. And when it gets big enough, I will be picking it and eating it and canning it. And I believe I have a video on that. I'll check, and if I do, I'll put it, put it, uh, link up there in the corner to it. I'm complaining that this is sassafras. You see how these buds are coming out? And there's quite a few of them over the property. This one we've left it here because it's just a little bit of shade for me to sit in on that bench on warm summer days. And right next to it is mulberry. And it's not looking too good, but it is leafing out. It's kind of hard to recognize things this time of year, but I, know, I already know this is mulberry. There are some leaf buds and a beautiful blue sky. I've forgotten what this little plant is called. We've got quite a bit of it. From my understanding, it's not toxic to the goats, but I don't know for sure. Uh, they don't seem to bother or try to eat anything that's toxic, but you can see pretty little flower spikes on it. This is a type of plantain. I believe it's called narrow leaf plantain. You know, it had, and you can recognize it by these little flower spikes that look like little tiny cattails. Plantain is also, also a useful wild weed. Here is Doc. This will send up a tall greenish flower spike later and then the seeds will turn brown and dry and you can actually grind them for a type of flower. This is uh, vetch, and its usefulness is found in uh, mixing nitrogen to the soil because it's in the pea family. There's some back here too, but right now I don't see any blooms on it. I saw some yesterday. Are my orange daylilies, they come back every year. The blooms are edible. I need to clean my bed out, but anyway, there's, they're all down through here and up that way. And there's a couple other kinds of lilies there. Oh, the wind. My irises, they're kind of a mahogany color when they bloom. And here at the end, these will be naked ladies or surprise lilies later on. They come up pretty good. They're not a wildflower and they're not edible.
there's a bunch more out here. This is a wild lettuce. And you can check to see if it's wild lettuce by seeing if it bleeds white. And this one did after I broke the leaf, but let me see this one. The sap, the sap in them will be white. And see, it's coming, I don't know if you can see that along the edge of the leaves. It's bleeding white, so that's wild lettuce. Thorny, thorny, dangerous looking vines are uh, dewberry. And dewberries are bigger than a blackberry. They're not blooming yet, but I just want to show you what they look like. We're just close enough to the highway you can hear this stuff. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you what they look like when they're growing. A little later they'll bloom. It'll look like little wild roses. And uh, then they'll form the beautiful, fat, delicious, sweet berries. Rose bush. They're kind of spreading out through here. They have the most luscious smelling blooms, even though they're very simple blooms and really ragged thorns hope that guy's proud of his little scooter anyway <laughs> uh, they make the whole area just smell so wonderful and they will form tiny little uh, rose hips on them but they're really really small so it's hard to collect up enough to do anything with one is sumac but the rest of these with the leaves on them are wild plums and there's lots of little ones around and I really I didn't get to last year would really like to get some over in my yard it's just in the field next to me they're already past their bloom pretty much but uh, this tree is probably about 10 feet tall just a little clump and last year I couldn't get to them before the birds got them so I probably won't be able to this year either birds love them but uh, anyway they got they got little thorns on them not as bad as a blackberry bush or something but you can see where the they had blooms right there so almost every one of these blooms will set a fruit the bark on it. Let's see if I can get it where it's not not even shading it. The bark on it, you can see it's typical fruit tree looking bark. I might be able to take cuttings, I don't know. If you know, let me let me know if you can just take cuttings from it. And I'll try doing that and starting them uh, over there somewhere. These are regular wild blackberries. This is thick through here. We probably, when we get to place bush hog, we'll probably bush hog this bunch down. But there's a lot of them up by the end of the driveway. And that's where we've been picking from. But as you can see, I guess you can see, they're getting little, little flower buds on them. So it won't be long. Well, a few weeks, and then we'll be able to start picking wild blackberries again. Man, these things will tear you up. Look at these. Look at these thorns. Someday I'll probably have some tame blackberries planted, but for right now it's the wild ones. And it takes a lot of picking because these guys aren't really big. But they're so good. These are wild geranium. They don't have a real impressive flower when it comes on. But what they do have is a very pretty seed pod that looks like a crane's bill. So they're called crane's bill geranium. I would end with my rosemary bush. It always survives the winter. It grows very well here in the south. And uh, as long as you don't have it in a real wet spot and it's that's fine. This started out to be my herb bed a couple of years ago and it just 
things I got busy. You know, things happen. I didn't get to develop it. Maybe I will this year. I don't know. Oh, I want to show you something. These are wild onion or garlic. When you break it, you can get that strong oniony, garlicky smell. Uh, we actually use them a lot in our cooking. We just dig them up and throw them in there, and they just they just grow like crazy all over the place. So it's not a big deal. But anyway, okay, that's it, y'all. Really, I want to thank you for your patience. See my sniffles, man. The pollen is everywhere. So stay healthy. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any corrections to make or anything to add. I don't, just any kind of comment. It's just fine. I appreciate the comments. So thanks for watching.